going on everybody i just got this phone lot on ebay it cost me 85 plus 815 shipping after that it was like 97 dollars. and you might be wondering why did i buy seven junk phones for that much and you'll see why so here's everything we have a galaxy note 4 a htc droid incredible 2 a motorola droid turbo 2 a htc1 m7 two 7 pluses and an 11 pro max so we'll start off with the worst and you might be wondering how can a note 4 be worse than a droid incredible 2 well, unfortunately, this phone does have a bad AMOLED. It came like that. Um, it has a missing pin and a missing battery as well, so I am completely unable to test this phone, which is unfortunate because that's my first Note 4, meaning I don't have any parts, and I don't know how to test it. On the bright side, I do have a nice outer box for whenever I get a good Note 4 now. All right, so next up, we have the Droid Incredible 2. This is an HTC, really old. It's pretty cool. It's unfortunately dead right now, but it does work completely fine. It just has a pretty crappy battery in it. Um, yeah, pretty cool old HTC. So finally getting into some good stuff here, we have a Motorola Droid Turbo 2. Um, I unfortunately can't turn this on. Well, I guess I can. Hang on. It just has someone's account on the lock screen. But here's this thing. It works completely fine. It's pretty cool because I've always wanted one of these because, like, I don't know if you've seen the Tech Racks video where he hammers this thing and it just survives. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm probably, I mean, obviously I need to reset these still. I just haven't because I thought I should push out a video real quick. Um, here is, let me make sure this one doesn't have anything. Okay, we're good. This is a HTC Droid, or not Droid, HTC One M7. This is the one with the Beats Audio, and let me tell you, it actually does work. This thing sounds amazing with those front-firing speakers. Um, yeah, this phone fully works. I'm really glad to have it because I've always wanted an HTC One, just one of them. Um, yeah, this thing's in really good shape other than that single crack right there, which doesn't bother me because the screen had a screen protector on it from when it was, like, factory, I'm assuming. So there's legit zero scratches, just the one crack, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, so that was all the Android stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to the Apple. Um, we have the two 7 Pluses. This one right here is a Verizon 128 gig. And I got a story for these. The guy that I bought these from on eBay said that he found these in a storage locker when I asked him if he knew the accounts on these because they were all iCloud locked, but they were the same people as these. So I asked him. He says, no, I got these in a storage locker. And at that point... I figured I'm just going to find a SIM card. So the 11 Pro Max had a SIM card in it. I popped it into my Z Flip 3. And I took that number and texted it from my iPhone. And this guy was like, how did you even find these phones? Because he said that he had legit thrown these in the trash can. So the seller that I got them from, he, someone either got them from the, his trash can and put them in a storage locker. Or the guy that said he found them in a storage locker didn't. And he legit dug through the trash to get these phones. But... The guy was super chill about it, and he actually was able to unlock all of these phones for me over a course of like two days. I had to help him do it, but he did unlock them all for me, so these don't have iCloud locks. And I paid like 97 bucks. But as you probably saw on the eBay listing, um, the 7 Pluses are fully destroyed, like badly. <laughs> um, this black one, I put the white screen on because the white screen actually shows stuff. But like this one fully works. It's a 128 gig on Verizon. I just need to buy a screen for it. Like the battery is at 86% health, so I don't even need to replace it yet. Um, this one right here, also, this is the screen that came on it, so obviously it was destroyed. But I put my 7 Plus screen on it because this one actually has a good home button. Both of these do somehow. Um, this is a 32 gig unlocked, but it only has 76% battery health, which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, it does work, and it's my first good um, 7 Plus. All right, and we saved the best for last on this one. We have the Midnight Green 64 gigabyte Verizon 11 Pro Max. So this one does actually have a crack screen, as you can see. And you would think that that's like not enough damage to actually do anything, but unfortunately, as you can see, this thing has like lines of dead touch throughout, and it if you even get past all that, it starts to like touch the screen on its own. So it's kind of messed up, but fortunately, I decided I'm going to post this on eBay because I want to make the money back from this and I don't feel like fixing this because, well, I already have one. So I posted it on eBay for 200 bucks just to see what would happen. Within like two minutes, some guy sends me an offer of 180 and then that same guy like three minutes later buys it outright for 200 So this is sold phone for over double what I paid for the entire lot, which is sweet because I made my money back already. But yeah, that's basically the entire phone lot. I got all these things for 97 bucks. Thank you guys for watching.